eighth of our 40th year of Frederick County Academic Tournament. I am your moderator, Eric Reichel, and I'm very, very happy to be here with these wonderful students. And now I need Douglas Carson, Rafael, and Catherine to turn on their, I can only see their names. I need to see their faces. There's Carson. There's Catherine. There's Rafaela. And I still need Douglas. Put your mics on, please, ladies. Uh, Mr. Young is the coach. Mr. Reichel, is anybody? Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. They're shaking. Okay. We're hearing. It's not for me. Uh, so Carson is only with his mic on. I need Rafaela and Catherine and Jacob to turn their mics on as well. Mm -mm. Mr. Reichel, Mr. Young, I need you to mute. Okay, Mr. Reichel, go ahead and try speaking again. Um, it's feedback. What would you like to do? Start over? Ms. Meisner, can you hear the feedback? Mm, it sounds all right to me. Students, can you hear the feedback? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's me. Like, can you mute for a minute? There you go. All right, Eric, go ahead. Okay, welcome to it's our... Kelly. It's you. <laughs> it's all my fault. Welcome to the third and final match of the 40th year of Frederick County Academic I am Eric Reckler, your moderator. I want to thank Master Konsky and Kelly Meisner and News Hism for helping me with all this stuff. And now we're going to start with Katonkton, and I need all four of you. Who's the captain? Who's the captain? Carson or? Carson. I need somebody to be a captain. Uh, sure. That's Carson's great. been voted into this. Your captain, bud. Excellent. Carson, you're the captain. So, um, first Hold round. on. We have five students on. Don't want that. Mr. Young, who should be uh, not on? I mean, I can read you the roster list we have. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be Summer. Jacob, I don't think you're in this it's, one, bud. It's Catherine, oh, okay. Carson, Rafi, and me. I love you, hon, but I don't think you're supposed to be in this one, uh, bud. I'll head back. See you next round, Jacob. Okay, so now we're set. And so who is going to be the captain? Is it still going to be Carson? Yep. Yep. Go all right. over. Okay, round one is a uh, round where you can get one up for a correct answer, but no points off for a wrong answer. You have five seconds to answer. Ms. Meisner will count it down, and then you must have a, a answer in that time. Okay, question one. What does the acronym SMH stand for? Advice columnists often use it to express disbelief or dismay. Shaking my head. Shake my head. Uh, Summer, yours is right. Shaking my head, I think. Shaking my head. Okay, so final answer is shaking my head. Okay, so Rafaela, you're going to be the captain then. Yeah. That correct. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I just want to make sure I'm waiting on somebody. That's fine. That is correct. But a lot of people were shaking their head the other day for sure. Question two: Who was the abolitionist author of Uncle Tom's Cabin? Abraham Lincoln once said about her, "So you're the little woman who wrote the book that started this great war. Name her." Harriet Beecher Stowe. Did I say it? Yeah, Harriet Beecher, Answer, Stowe. Harriet Beecher Stowe. Correct. Good. Question three. <clears throat> Multiple choice. What do the colored lines in an atomic emission spectrum represent? Is it A, the energy absorbed by electrons as they jump to higher energy levels? B, the energy released by electrons as they return to lower energy levels? C, the energy exchange between electrons in an atom? Or D, the energy released by the nucleus of an atom? What are we thinking? A? Sure. I don't even know what. Don't know. All right, final answer, A. Sorry, it's B, the energy released oh. by electrons as they return to lower energy levels. Question four. During what war in the 1950s were these headlines seen? United Nations troops capture Pyongyang and advance towards the Yalu. Korean the war. I think. Oh, I think it's Korean War. Final answer, Korean War. Correct. Excellent. Question five. Poet Phyllis Wheatley, the first major African-American writer who became well-known in this country, met with this U.S. president at his request after the publication of a poem written in his honor in 1776. Name this president. Well, if it's in 1776, wouldn't it be Washington? Sure. Oh, yeah. Final answer, George Washington. Excellent. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Raphael, light bulb went over her head. Yes. <laughs> And question six, how many regulation strokes are there in swimming? Guys, I have no, what, what are Do we going to say? Five. five, okay, final answer, five. 
I'm sorry, it's four. Oh, oh, and that completes round one. Well done, ladies and gent. Thanks. Gent. Thank <laughs> okay, so you guys can go back to the breakout room and send around two people back to us. Okay. You went up here, sunshine. I scarfed my lunch, my dinner right between the matches there, Kelly. <laughs> Gosh, I forgot to ask A, B, X, or Z. Oh, well, they got A. <laughs> Ms. Smith, while they're coming on, I would love to hear any advice you have for a massive group meeting like this. You know, I never use breakout rooms. The first time I tried, I wasn't the owner of the meeting and it was really frustrating. Okay. Yes. Um, I'm sure the teachers just, have better suggestions. I'm sorry? Because I'm sure the teachers would have better suggestions. I plan to ask, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, uh, that's everyone, but I see no pictures yet. Maybe that's still coming. There's Joseph and Nicholas and Ava and Jacob. Okay, turn your mics on so I can hear you. Who is the captain in this round? Um, I guess I'll be the captain. We didn't discuss this. <laughs> Ava, you're the captain then. Excellent. All right. Round two is a math round. Two math questions, two non-math questions. In the math questions, remember you get 30 seconds at, uh, at F with five seconds to go, Ms. Meisner will prompt you that you only have five seconds left. And remember, it's one up for a right answer, but one down for a wrong answer. So it's definitely worth uh, guessing, right? Because you can't, you can't hurt anything. Okay, are we still in the right shape here? Got four? Very good, okay. <clears throat> Question one, math. Evaluate the definite integral from negative 2 to 2 of 9x squared plus 2dx. Begin time. Five seconds. Is it, Nick, did you get zero? I'm getting zero. Yes. Zero. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. The answer is 56. 56. Question two. What rock group played the first stadium concert in the history of rock music at Shea Stadium in 1965? The screams of the fans were so loud, it was difficult to hear such songs as Can't Buy Me Love, Help, and A Hard Day's Night. Name the group. Uh, I believe it's the Beatles. I Ava, do you we'll agree with that? I guess we'll go with that. I believe it's the Beatles. That is correct. Question three, math. Given f of x equals 2x plus 3 for all x less than or equal to 7, and f of x equals 5 minus x for all x greater than 7, evaluate f of f of 2. Begin time. I got 17. 17, yeah. 17. 17 is correct. Question four. Stephanie Qualock at the Pond Company developed this material that replaced steel in racing tires and is used in body armor due to its high tensile strength weight ratio. Name this super hard plastic that starts with a K. The Kevlar? Yeah, that sounds right. Kevlar then? Kevlar is correct. And that completes round two. Well done. There's the kitty. It's 
Sorry, Sunshine. Winky's got the chair. So you guys can go off back to your breakout group and then send uh, your next group for the chemist group for round three. Jacob, you're the only one leaving. Send Carson back. That's easy. Right. So we've got Joseph, Ava, and Nicholas. And here comes Carson. Okay. <clears throat> Round three, elements in the periodic table. My good friend, New Sism, wrote these questions. I'm very grateful to him for that. Who will be the captain in this round? Uh, I guess it's me. Nicholas, thank you. Very good. Way to step up. Okay. Question one. Name one ferromagnetic element. Iron. Yeah. Yeah, iron. That's correct. Iron, nickel, or cobalt. Any of those would have been correct. Question two. Which is the least reactive coinage metal? Um, would it be nickel? Answer, please. I'm not sure. Answer. Please. We'll go with nickel then. I'm sorry, it's gold gold. And question three, this halogen sublimates into a purple gas. Name it. R. No, 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 no that's not halogen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think it's chlorine. It's not. Answer, please. Is it iodine? That is correct. And that completes round three. Okay. Thank you so much. So send, uh, go ahead to your breakout group and send back anybody for round four. Is Barbara Tarrant Coleman supposed to be on right now? Is she a coach for? She's a coach for being and we're Excellent, Barbara. Good. To be here. Welcome. Yes. Okay, we need one more. Because this is Katakin, right? I'm not messed up with that. Katakin, yep. Katakin Oakdale, Urbana, Walkersville, right? Yep. So we're still Katakin's left now. Yep. Jacob's back. Summer's back. Rafaela. We need one more person. And who will be the captain in this round? We can decide now. Um, I think the next person is Joe. And Rafi can be the captain again if she wants. Yeah. Excellent, Rafi. You're the captain. As soon as we get Joe off, we'll go. Okay. <clears throat> Is Joe having a lag time problem? Not sure. I don't know, but I texted one of the kids to tell him to come. Yeah. We're gonna start in about 30 seconds or so, so hopefully he'll join us soon. And, oh. Oh, as soon as I is. say that, yes, excellent. I'm sorry. Joseph, no, not at all. Jeez, no, that's great. Okay, so, Rafi, you're the captain, correct? All right, here we go. Round four, question one. After years of winning their division, but losing in the first round of the playoffs, this local team won the World Series for the first time in Washington, D.C. since 1924, when the team was named the Senators. What baseball team won the 2019 World Series? I think it's... Was it like the Cubs? I think it's the Cubs. Yeah, was the Cubs 2019? I think. Okay, let's say final answer, the Cubs. I'm sorry, it's the Washington Nationals, the local uh -oh. team. Yes, uh, Cubs were a few years before that, but that's okay. Question two. New York and Los Angeles are the two most populous cities in the United States. What is the third most populous? I have a feeling it's Austin, Texas. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. This is crazy. Okay. Final answer, Austin, Texas. I'm sorry, Chicago, Illinois, Chicago. Dang. Question three. 
This T word names a rotary mechanical device that extracts energy from a fluid flow and converts it into useful work. Name it. You know it, Joe. I saw you move. No, I don't. Uh, oh my gosh, it starts with a T. A transmitter. I don't know. Final answer, transmitter. It's definitely worth a guess, but it's turbine. Turbine. Oh, my oh, gosh. That was incorrect. <laughs> Question four. This question requires a two-part answer. I have to have both. We once had two presidents in a row with the same first name. They were our fourth and fifth presidents. Name them both. James Madison oh. and James Monroe. Final answer, James Madison and James Monroe. Excellent. Question five. This fictional villain, a handsome fighter, drinker, and hunter, is spurned by the apple of his eye when he proposes to Belle and sets out on a mission to try and kill the beast. Name the villain played by Luke Evans in the 2017 version of Beauty and the Beast. Final answer, Gaston. Gaston, that bad, bad guy. Question six. The United States signed a treaty with which country to allow the construction of the Panama Canal? Panama was technically a part of this country, but the US signed a treaty that granted land to build the canal in exchange for $10 million. Name the South American country with a capital of Bogota. Colombia. Final answer, Colombia. That is correct. And question seven. The Inuits were the original creators of these huts made of snow and ice. What are they called? Igloos, right? Yeah. Final answer, igloo. That is correct. And that completes the match for Catoctin. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Catoctin. You can go back to your room. We're going to ask Oakdale to join us now. You got to see Winky Kelly. How about that? Yeah. Well, she's, but she doesn't. She doesn't really dig getting picked up that much. But hi, sweetheart. Hi, Winky. <laughs> Sunshine's glaring at her. <clears throat> How dare she take his spot? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. Nature of the cat. Oops, I'm frozen, so they can hear. Oakdale's next, right? There we go. Avery, Reed. Mason, Douglas should be off, right? And he can be on. Oh, oh, the coaches are allowed on. Okay, let's see. I think we've got everybody. Go ahead and put your microphones on so we can hear you. Reed, Avery, Mason, and Taha. Who is the captain in this round? I'm the captain. So I'll be captain. Very. You got X or read it. B or Z. I'm sorry, what did you say? Would you choose B, X, or Z? B. This is just the questions you're going to get randomly. Okay, round one. This is a question round where you can get one up for a right answer, but no points off for a wrong answer. So guess if you can. And I will be looking for the captain. Question one. How long is a marathon race for human run runners? You must get the correct answer within 0.5 miles. 26.2. I'm just looking to make sure everybody's agreeing with you, but that is correct. You nailed it. <clears throat> correct. Question two. James M. Barry wrote about the exploits of this little boy who vowed to never grow up. Peter Pan. All right, Peter Pan. That is correct. Yes. And whenever you ask that kind of question, I'm just going to wait to make sure you confer. Okay. Right. That is you correct. Want me to be fine. Question, you can if you want to, but I can typically tell by your tone, Reed. That's fine, but you're, you're doing fine. Question three. What is the name of Michelle Obama's best-selling 2018 memoir? Response, please. I do not know. I don't think anyone here does. Okay, sorry, Becoming, Becoming is the title. Question four, calcium carbonate limestone has a gram formula mass of nearly 100 grams per mole. 75 grams of CaCO3 contains how many formula units? Does anyone want to guess three quarters? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. No, I don't know either. 
Answer, please. I will go three quarters then. Yes, I believe 0.75 moles would be three quarters, correct, Kelly? Okay, Mr. Math, they called me. Correct. Question five. The Sioux were angered by the opening in 1865 of the Bozeman Trail from Fort Laramie to the gold fields of what state with the capital of Helena? I know Montana has a capital yeah. Helena, so. mm, Yeah, it's like stay that pops up in my head, Montana. Answer, please. Montana's correct. And question six, name the first representative leg legislative body to meet in America and the first to meet in any English county. It first convened at Jamestown, Virginia on July 30th, 1619, later moving to Williamsburg, Virginia. Is it the Continental Congress? Or... I think so. Yeah, we're gonna say Continental yeah. Congress. Okay. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It's the House of Burgesses. House of Burgesses, and that completes round one. Well done. So go ahead and go back to your breakout room unless you're in round two and send the next group, the math people, to round two. All right, so Avery, you stay, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, there's math. Oh, wait, no, it's over there. <laughs> Okay, we've got Avery and Lucas is joining, and Rohan, and is Barbara the other one? No, it's Mackenzie. Guys, cameras oh, and number one mics on me. Yep, okay, so we've got all four. Who will be the captain in this round, the math round? I'm the captain. Very good. Okay. Now, uh, round two is a math round. Remember, two math questions and two regular questions. The math questions, you get 30 seconds. Ms. Meisner will give you a five second prompt. When you have five seconds to go, she will give you a prompt. So you have to answer because remember, it's one up for right answer, but you get one wrong no matter what. So take your best guess. Question one, math. Evaluate the definite integral from negative one to two of x plus three x squared dx. Begin time. <laughs> Did anyone, has anyone else gotten 10.5? Five, five okay. seconds. Okay, um, 10.5. That is correct, Avery, 10.5. Question two, if you seek a pleasant peninsula, look about you. Is a slogan of what state made up of the upper and lower peninsulas? Anyone else think Michigan? Is it Michigan, Michigan? Okay, um, Michigan. The great state of Michigan, correct. Excellent. Question three, math. Given f of x equals four minus x for all x greater than negative five, and f of x equals x squared for all x less than or equal to negative five, evaluate f of f of negative six. Begin time. Um, t um, tell, tell me you guys, if anyone else, if, if any other people get um, negative 32 for you guys. I got negative 32, I got negative 32. I got okay. it as well. Okay, um, negative 32. Excellent, that is correct. And question four, fill in the last word of this sentence. Chemical reactions take place when electrons are gained, lost, or blank. Share. Shared. Is that okay. Wait, sorry, I didn't. I didn't hear you. Okay. Um, shared. Shared is correct, and that completes round two. Well done. Okay, you guys and gals can go ahead and back to your unless you're in uh, the chemistry chemistry group. Lucas and Rohan, you stay. Send Jack and Davina over. That almost sounded like Red Rover, Red Rover, send so-and-so over. Anybody play that game? Kid? <laughs> Me? 
Uh, we're, we remember those things, but the kids do not. I bet you Kelly's never heard of that before, have you? You have? Okay. Uh, no. You used to play it with Kevin. Oh. Uh, we did too. Okay, I got one, two, three, four, right? Who is the captain in this round? Uh, Luke, yeah. John, you're the, oh, okay. You're the captain and your name is? Luke. Lucas, good. It comes up only when you say something. So, all right, Lucas. So, round three. This is the uh, elements in the periodic table. I want to thank Mr. News Hism, my good friend, who wrote these questions for me. Question one: This element is used in the filaments of light bulbs. Name it. Is it mercury or phosphorus? Tungsten. Tungsten. That's final answer, Lucas. Final answer, tungsten. That's correct. Good. Question two. What is the symbol for the metal that is a liquid at room temperature? The symbol of mercury. HG. Final answer. Yep. Good. Good job. And question three. This element is the primary component of air. Name it. Nitrogen. Nitrogen. Final answer. That's correct. You rocked that one. Good job. Well done. That's the end of round three. Send your round four people over. All right. So Jack and Davina say. Send Reed and Taha as well, please. Two, three. Waiting on one more, and there's Taha. Okay. Who is the um, captain for this round? Uh, John. John, thank you so much. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Round four. One up for a right answer, one up for a wrong answer. All set? Here we go. <clears throat> this location lies on the border of Zimbabwe and Zambia. David Livingstone, believed to be the first European to view this location, named it for a monarch. Because of its width, it has the world's largest sheet of falling water. Name this waterfall. Is it Victoria Falls? Yeah, I, Victoria Falls, final answer. Excellent. Yes, that's right. Good. Question two. This active stratovolcano last erupted in the early 18th century. It is one of its home country's three holy mountains, along with Mount Tate and Mount Haku. Name this mountain, ranked 35th in prominence, which is the highest point in Japan. Uh, you? Do you know? Is that a volcano? I don't know. Answer, please. No answer, I guess. Oh, it's Mount Fuji. Okay. Yeah. Always say something. Always say something for sure. Question three. One moment an object in free fall is moving upward at a speed of 50 meters per second. What will be the object's speed after one second? Response, please. Do you guys have anything? I have no, no, I don't. No. Sorry, time out. Uh, 40 meters per second. Question four. What name is given to the fear of the number 13? I think it's like tridecophobia, but I'm not sure. Tridecophobia, final answer. I cannot give it to you. It's very close, but triscodecophobia. Very close, sorry. Question five. Brown, Columbia, Penn, Cornell, Dartmouth, Princeton, Yale, and Harvard are all colleges that belong to this prestigious league. Name it. Ivy League. Ivy League, final answer. That's correct. Question six. This American artist, who mostly lived in London, was a painter who believed strongly in the idea of art for art's sake and entitled many of his paintings Arrangements, Harmonies, and Nocturnes. His most famous painting is entitled Arrangement in Gray and Black, number one, but most of the public know it as a painting of his mother, named this tremendous painter and artist. Response, please. No response. Uh, sorry, uh, James Abbott McNeil Whistler 
Whistler's mother is what I was hoping you'd remember there, but uh, obviously not. And question seven. John Green wrote The Fault in Our Stars, a best-selling young adult novel about two cancer survivors who meet in a cancer support group. The title of the novel comes from what history play by Shakespeare that involves the murder of a Roman general? Caesar? Yeah, Julius Caesar, final answer. That is correct, and that completes the match for Oakdale. Well done, lady and gentlemen. So I'm supposed to go back and send Urbana, or you, do you go back, Beth? Good question. Sounds off. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Barb, since you're their coach, and I, it might be faster for you since I've got everybody here. Yeah, I tried to go back before and I couldn't, but let me try again. I ended up having to come back in, but let me try to go back and send the first round, okay? Thank okay. you. Thank you. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I don't know what happened to my sound. It's making it a mess now, but. I know. It wasn't doing that the first two matches. Oh, darn. <laughs> We're learning. I just keep thinking, this is all being taped. Welcome to those of you. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing the best we can, as Kramer once famously said. Just compare this to the eighth week. You'll see how much better we're going to get. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're way better than the practice. Thank you, Mrs. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> Urbana next, right? If, if they can come back or if they're out in space somewhere and we can't yeah. come back. Oh, gee. That just adds more. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Oh, here they come. Yay. There we go. Yay. All right. So we've got Rena. Welcome. And there is Stephanie. Stephan Stefan. It's two. Looks like all four. All right, Thomas, Stephanie, Brina, and Trevor. Who will be the captain for Urbana in this round? I will. Okay. Brina. X or Z for your question packet? X. X it is. <clears throat> okay. Um, welcome to the uh, third match. Um, round one is a category or a, a round where you can get one up for a right answer, but no off for an incorrect response. Okay. Five seconds. Ms. Majin will count them down and then we'll need a response from the captain. Question one. This author of The Bluest Eye and Song of Solomon Won the Pulitzer Prize for Literature in 1988 for Beloved. Name her. Conferring Toni Morrison? Uh, final answer, Toni Morrison. That is correct, Brina. Question two. What color are the goalposts in American football? Uh, conferring yellow, right? Uh, yeah. Final answer, yellow. That is correct. Question three. This question requires a two-part answer. Counting only the original set of novels, how many Harry Potter books and how many Harry Potter movies are there? Conferring, there's seven books and eight movies, right? That's yeah. se seven books and eight movies? Correct. Question four, multiple choice. Of Ralph Bunch, Martin Luther King Jr., or Maya Angelou, which African-American was the first to receive the Nobel Peace Prize in 1950? Uh, conferring, probably, would it be MLK or would it be... Conferring, is it Maya Angelou? I don't. 1950. But it was for peace, right? Hers might have been for literature. Yeah. Answer, please. Uh, MLK? I'm sorry, it's incorrect. It's Ralph Bunch. Oh, okay. Question five. What is the chemical formula of potassium oxide? Uh, that would be uh, conferring K2O. Uh, Final answer, K2O. That's correct. Question six. Sacco and Benzetti were tried and convicted of murder in what U.S. state whose largest city and capital is Boston? 
Confirming Massachusetts. Uh, final answer, Massachusetts. That is correct, and that completes round one. Well done. Okay, you can let go ahead and go back to your group. Oh, go ahead, Ms. Tronsky. Well, let me congratulate Urbana and Brenna in how you handled your conferring final answer. Very efficient. Thank you. That's, that's model. It's a model of what we want. Thank you. Made it easy for me, for sure. Okay, so Brina's going to stay, and you're going to send back Jonathan, Abby, and Geetika. Good boy. Okay, let's see here. Do we have four? We do. Okay. Everybody's mic's on and they're ready to go. Who will be the captain in this round? Uh, I will captain again. Green will captain again. Very good. Okay. Uh, Bronx, who is a math round? <coughs> Four questions, two math, two non-math. On the math questions, remember, you get 30 seconds. Ms. Meisner will prompt you with five seconds to go. And remember, it's one up for a right answer and one on down for a wrong answer. So you might as well take a guess, right? Question one, math. Evaluate the definite integral from one to three of three minus four x dx. Okay, um, conferring negative 10. Yeah, I got that too. Okay, final answer, negative 10. That is correct. Question two, name this South American country that features agriculture, forestry, and fishing, and that covers most of the southern portion of the continent. Uh, conferring be Argentina, right? It's the bigger one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, uh, final answer, Argentina. It is the bigger one, yes, correct. Question three, math. Given f of x equals x minus 6, for all x greater than zero, and f of x equals x squared for all x less than or equal to zero. Evaluate f of f of negative four. Begin time. <clears throat> um, conferring, I got 10. I also got 10. Okay, final answer, 10. That is correct. Question four. This tough band of fibrous connective tissue usually connects muscle to bone. Name it. Conferring, is it cartilage? Um, uh, I, is it, I, I feel like it would be ligament, ligament or tendon. Ligament? Yeah. Ligament? ligament. 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 Um, answer? Well, answer ligament? Sorry, it's tendon. tendon. Okay. And that completes round four. Oh, excuse me, round two. That was the four question, round two. So go ahead and... Go back to your breakout room and send me the chemistry folks for round three. Where did Jude go to college? Where did he end up going to college? Me, the University of Michigan. No, Jude. They're oh, 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 uh, hey, he's hey, at hey, Northwestern kidding. now. Oh, he's at Northwestern, okay. Yes. Another fine Big Ten school. Okay, we got Brianna, Holden, Nathan, and Evelyn. All right, welcome. Uh, round three, elements in the periodic table. My good friend, News Hism, wrote these questions, and I'm very grateful for that. Uh, who will be the captain in this round? Uh, I will. Okay, okay I'm going to keep asking, Brianna. That's fine. All right, question one. Which chemical element has an allotrope that consists of three atoms and interacts with UV light in the upper atmosphere? Conferring oxygen, right? Because the ozone layer. Uh, Finally, it's oxygen. Correct. The allotrope is called ozone for your information. Question two. This metal element forms ions in which its oxidation number is plus seven and which form purple solutions. Name it. Uh, conferring... Iodine forms purple things, right? There's no it's way it's plus seven. Plus seven, so like chromium or what else is in the middle there? Answer, please. Anyone know? Uh, 
Okay, final answer, chromium. No, um, manganese. manganese. And question three. This metalloid is found in glass. Name it. Conferring. It's silicon and metalloid? No, it's all the way over there. No, it is on the, it is on the stick. Okay. Yeah. Final answer, silicon? That is correct, and that completes round three. Well done. So go ahead and send uh, your round four people, and we'll get this match finished. Hi, Copper. Get away from there. One, two, three, waiting on one person. And there's Trevor. Excellent. OK. Round four, uh, questions one up or one down. Brianna, will you be the captain again, or will it be somebody else? Yes, I will, or Captain. Brianna, Brianna, sorry, I almost got it right. Good. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. Question one for round four. This question requires a three-part answer. Name the three main types of clouds. Conferring, um, there's stratus, and Cumulus, is that a type? Cumulus, and the third one. Is Nimbus a type, or is that like part of something? Yeah, we can go with it. You guys okay. remember clouds? Cirrus? That's a cloud type. Okay, clouds, no, please. No. Cirrus? Uh, what do you? Evelyn, you can say it. No! No. <laughs> okay. Okay, stratus, cumulus, and cirrus. That's good. Correct. Yes. Question two. At 647,000 square kilometers, the Great Victoria Desert is the eighth largest desert in the world and the largest desert in this smallest continent. Name the continent. I'm comparing Australia, right? Okay, final answer, Australia? Correct. Question three. Upon this science fiction giant's death in 2012, the New York Times called him the writer most responsible for bringing modern science fiction into the literary mainstream. Name this author known for such works as The Illustrated Man and The Martian Chronicles. Conferring. Bradbury? Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. final answer, Ray Bradbury. That is correct. Question four. This U.S. swimmer is the most decorated Olympian in history. Name him. Conferring Michael Phelps. Final answer, Michael Phelps. Correct. Question five. The definition for this kind of people is originating or occurring naturally in a particular place or native. Examples would include the Lakota in the USA, the Inuit and Aleutians of the circumpolar region, and the Aborigines of Australia. What kind of people are these? Conferring, would it be indigenous? I guess so. Okay. Final answer, indigenous? Yes, very good. Question six. The partner from this work by Geoffrey Chaucer carries around a bag of fake holy relics that he sells to unsuspecting people. Name the series of stories created by Chaucer. Confirming the Canterbury Tales. The final answer, the Canterbury Tales. Correct. And question seven. The first successful controlled powered airplane flight of the Wright brothers took place near this North Carolina town. Name it. Confirming Kitty Hawk. Final answer, Kitty Hawk. That is correct, and that completes the match for Urbana. Very well done, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. That's what she had. Thank you, and um, you can stay. I'm going to shut down the breakout rooms now. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. We still have Walker, so my mistake. <laughs> One more match. Yes. Go on back to your breakout. Thanks, you guys. Good job. Thanks, yep, thanks, Dale. Okay, so our total should have ended up being 15. Okay, I'm going to break out three. Why am I not going back to break out? Watch your kid help you. Excellent. Sunshine's reclaimed his place. That cat had to go. Well, it's 7.30 now, Mr. Koski, so not bad, right? Especially because that first first one took us some time, so. We're getting better each time. 
yeah, we'll yeah. But by by week three, we'll be full speed ahead. Yes, and I have I have a couple of ideas, so this is good. Sure, All right. sure. Away, Mr. Eichel. We're doing fine, just fine. I'm really glad we started at four thirty. You're muted, Mr. Konsky. Thank you. Um, Walkersville students, uh, if you can turn your cameras and your mics on and identify who your captain is. I am the captain for the team. Connor, okay, when Mr. Reichel gets back. Yep. All right, are we set? Okay, I've got one, two, three, four. I'm sorry, who's the captain? I'm the captain for the round. Connor, thank you so much. Okay, you are left with uh, match Z. All right, round one. Uh, one up for a correct answer. No points off if you get it incorrect, so take your best guess. Question one. This question requires a four-part answer. There are five Olympic rings with five different colors. Name four of them. It should be blue, red, green, and yellow, right? Yeah, blue, red, green, and yellow, final answer. Blue, blue, red, green, yellow, and black was the fifth one. That is correct. Question two. Actresses Felicity Huffman and Lori Laughlin were among dozens of individuals involved in what 2019 investigation? You can give me the name of the investigation or what they were accused of doing. They were accused of cheating on their SATs. Uh, they were accused of cheating on their SATs, final answer. Uh, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. They were accused of... Um, getting their admissions illegally. It was called Operation Varsity Blues, but it wasn't SAT scores. They bought admissions into the college, so that would be incorrect. Question three. Sitting Bull was chief of what Indian tribe that occupied land in both North and South Dakota? It should be the Sioux. Sioux, final answer. That is correct, Connor. Question four. Identify the literary device commonly used in poetry featuring the repetition of a consonant sound in two or more words of a phrase. Alliteration, right? Yeah, alliteration. Alliteration, final answer. That is correct. Question five, multiple choice. The tilt of the earth, revolutions around the sun, rotation of the earth. Which of the above are responsible for the seasons we experience on earth? Um, isn't it? Uh, tilt of the earth, right? Yeah. Uh, tilt of the earth? Final it is the tilt of, yep, that is correct. The tilt of the earth, and I can't wait for the tilt to get towards spring. Question six, multiple choice. To calculate average speed, you would need to know A, velocity in time, B, acceleration in time, C, distance in time, or D, acceleration and velocity. Distance and time, right? Yeah. Distance and time. Distance and time, final answer. That is correct. That completes round one. Very good. All right, so who's not, if you're not playing the next round, go back and send the other guys back. Hi, Darren. Hi, Eric. Got two. Just need Samantha. To... There we go. Okay. Round two, math round. Who will be the captain for this round? Hello, I will. Excellent, thank you. Okay. Uh, Four questions to the math round. The two math questions, remember, you get 30 seconds, and Ms. Meisner will prompt you when there's five seconds left. Remember, it's one up for a right answer and one down for a wrong answer. Question one, math. Evaluate the definite integral from negative 3 to 0 of 4x cubed plus 1dx. Begin time. Oh, 
Oh, I do. Yeah. Isn't it 70? Well, 78. I guess 78. Sorry. Paulman. Is that your final answer? Okay, final answer, negative 78. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to rush you. Yes, I'll just be yeah, as correct, negative 78. Question two. Author and activist Elisir Wiesel won the Nobel Peace Prize in part for the writing of what famous novel? Um, Night, right? Okay. Uh, Night, final answer. That's correct. Question three, math. Given f of x equals 5 minus 2x for all x greater than negative 4, and f of x equals x plus 3 for all x less than or equal to negative 4, evaluate f of f of negative 2. Begin time. Um, I got three through. Uh, three or no, wait, no, no, wait, nine, no, wait, nine. sorry. Um, 18, negative 13, right? Five seconds. Okay, negative 13. Negative 13, correct. Nice teamwork there. Sorry. Uh, thanks, guys. <laughs> We're, good. We're good. Yeah, yeah. Question four. This was both a 1960s sitcom starring Don Adams as a bumbling secret agent and a 2008 film star starring Steve Carell as Maxwell Smart. Name the series or the film. Uh, I think it's Get Smart. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get Smart, I know answer. Yes, very good. And that completes yeah. round two. Well done. Nice job, guys. All right, Ruben, head on back. One, two, three. And there's four. Okay. Uh, this is round three, elements in the periodic table. I want to thank my good friend, New Sism, former Walkersville High School chemistry and science teacher extraordinaire for writing these questions for me, for us. Uh, who's the captain in this round? Uh, I am the captain, Alex Stigley. Alex, thank you so much. Okay. Question one. What is the chemical symbol for antimony? For antimony? Don't know how to say it, sorry. Um, SP, right? Yeah, SP. SP? B. 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 Okay, one last time, Alc. What, what is it? SP. SP is as in both. Yep, thank you. And by the way, how do you say it? Is it antimony or antimony? Antimony. Thank you. I knew you guys would know. Question two. Solutions of this element are commonly blue in color. Name it. Cobalt. 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 It's cobalt. 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 Uh, um, cobalt. Copper. Sorry. Question three. This element is a health hazard in paints and pipes. Name it. Lead. Lead. Yeah. Lead. Yeah. Lead. Finally. Lead is correct, and that completes round three. Well done. Sorry about the one that was tough. Okay, round four. Good. All right, we've got Prue. We've got two waiting on two more. I'm not going to go that far over, Mr. Trakonsky. 15, 20 minutes. No worries. Anticipated that at, for the form. The first, yes. Yes, a little and bit longer, yes. That. That's why we put first it one. in. Yep, yep. Yeah. yeah, we're getting better. Every okay, time. yep. Connor joined. Ruben is almost joined. Okay, gentlemen, welcome to round four. One up for a correct answer, one off for a wrong answer. Who will be the captain in this round? Um, I'm the captain of this round. Solomon? Very good. Yeah. Question one. This mountain was created by the subduction of the Nazca plate beneath the South American plate. 
It is considered an easy mountain if approached from the north and was first ascended in 1897 by Matthias Zurbriggen. Name this highest point in both the western and southern hemispheres. Aconcagua. Uh, defer to Connor. Aconcagua, final answer. A, a coral nice. reading, I love it. Yes, you nailed it, right? Absolutely. Question two. He had three sons and one daughter, although he adopted a young Irish boy his son brought home as well. The daughter's name was Connie, and the sons were Sonny, Fredo, Michael, and Tom Hagen. Name this famous fictional father who was also a godfather to a very different family. It's Vito That's Corleone. Vito, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Vito Cor Corleone. It is Vito indeed. Question three. This Midwestern state's caucuses are historically the first major electoral event of the nominating process for the president of the United States. Name the state. That's Iowa, right? Iowa. Iowa. Yeah. Okay. Iowa. Which was an absolute disaster this year, as I recall. Oh, last year. Question four. This is the largest and heaviest living species of the cat family. The tiger? Uh, I, I guess it's the lion, right? Uh, uh, what do you guys think? Go with your gut, then. Yeah, okay. Uh, lion? It's tiger. Yeah, the tiger's uh, bigger. Interesting, right? Question five. Kurt Vonnegut, in his impressive career, published 14 novels, three short story collections, and five plays. Novels such as Slaughterhouse-Five and Bluebeard have achieved permanent spots in the Western literary canon. But one of his best-known short stories is a satirical critique of enforced equality. Name the short story that shows a future America that handicaps the smart, strong, and attractive to ensure no one is better than anyone else. Uh, Harrison Bergeron, right? Harrison Bergeron. That's yeah. not the name of it, though, right? It is. It is the name of the short story. Uh -huh. yeah. It is. Okay. Uh, Harrison Bergeron. Correct. Excellent. Great story. Question six: Magnetism is created by the motion of what fundamental particle? That's electrons. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Electrons. Correct. And question seven: These two literary characters are quite clearly in love, despite the fact that they constantly bicker and tease each other. He mocks his friend Claudio's intention to marry Hero, and she implies that their past relationship will not be repeated. The two lovers who receive permission from Leonato to marry are named Beatrice and Benedict. What in what Shakespeare play are they featured? Oh. Is this like a midnight summer stream? Okay. Oh, oh, okay. uh, midsummer night's dream? Sorry, much ado about nothing. Much ado about nothing. Wonderful play. That completes the match. Well done, gentlemen. Excellent. First night for everybody, as far as I'm concerned. Hope everybody feels the same. What should they do now, Mr. Kowski? Thank you. Just stay here. I'm going to close out the rooms and we'll announce the score. And um, thank you all. Stop recording. Thank you. Well thank done. You. Yeah. Good job, Sunshine. We're coming back. I think we're coming back. Good boy. Good boy. Mr. Konsky, I have a question. Yes. Um, Mr. Could one, us, could one of us have stayed and watched the other teams? Yeah, we had that in the instructions from the okay. script. I just, I just wanted to make, I just wanted to make sure because none of us did. So, yeah, we, we talked so about it as I recall too. So, as long as the camera's stayed. off, and you know, we yeah. we trust everyone's ethics. So, well, yeah, no, I I don't have a problem with that. I was just, I just yeah. wanted to make sure because I was like, sure. yeah, like, yep. all right, okay. Friends, thank you all um, for joining us this evening. We're, we're getting better each time, and uh, we're learning things. Coaches, uh, expect to get an email from me uh, in the next 24 hours with uh, information and some questions, and if not, by Monday morning. So congratulations, teams. We had Catoctin with eight points, Oakdale with 10 points, Walkersville with 13 points, and Urbana was this match's winner with 15 points. So we congratulate you. And next week, we will see you for Empires and Emperors. Congratulations. Yeah.